Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you're probably wondering what is on my face. I, long story short, I have very, very low blood pressure. So I ended up fainting at a movie theater. And then you know how the walls of the movie theater are all carpet. So I guess I like rug burned my face and uh, yeah. It's just a disaster but anyways so it's healing right now okay but this scab right here it just it doesn't look good and i'm sure the band-aid looks worse but trust me the scab looks terrible so instead of a get ready with me because i'm not really putting on that much makeup i have like the very lightest amount of makeup on right now so i thought i would just do our traditional virtual shopping um showing you guys some new bags that i'm looking at and yeah, this is even better too because my face will be in the corner of this video so you won't even have to look at this because I know this is very distracting. But yes, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the brand new Lueve Paseo bag. I mean, this did come out, I think, maybe like a month ago, maybe like three weeks ago. I'm going to say a month ago this bag did come out, but it's a pretty brand new bag if you guys haven't seen I don't really know much about it. I, I haven't gone on to try it on yet, but uh, they have a brand new display. Um, let me insert some pictures from my SA that he did show me like their brand new spring display. It's all about like lilacs and yellows. Did you guys notice how Celine also has lilacs and yellows? And then on top of that, Bottega Veneta has lilacs and yellows, but we'll go to that in a second. But this is the Paseo bag. This is the new lilac color. So it's in their Napa calf skin. See, with this outfit, I actually like it with kind of like the tailored pants that are kind of flare out at the bottom like they're really loose they do have this bag available in different colors um, I'm sure depending on the popularity of this bag they're gonna add more colors the dark butter that Louie just recently came out with I'm super super obsessed with I think it's so cute so let's just zoom in on this so it does have hooks right here have any of you guys tried on this bag yet okay so it is a zipper opening which is nice for like security reasons and then right Right here you can actually see that the Lueve symbol is embossed which I think is really really nice oh and then they have this logo thing right here that's really cool so this is definitely a bag that I feel like I need to try it on before I decide for me personally this isn't a silhouette that I would buy for myself but I wouldn't say that I dislike this I definitely definitely feel like I need to try it on it does have the similar like flamenco tied knots at the end which is really cool so Lueve's new colors right now is the lilac and the uh, dark butter I think it's called I really actually like that they made the lilac with the grain calfskin so uh, the website is crashing so let me just talk about the display items obviously they highlighted the paseo bag you can see the different sizes see i feel like the larger size would be good for travel uh, especially the fact that it has a zipper on it it just makes it really safe and i love that there's a chain on this one as well i think that's actually really really cute i feel like lueve's chains are very specific it's kind of similar to their sunglasses like the type of circles that they use for the chain you guys know like with the tropical flowers as part of their collection they have like the heels with the tropical flowers on but this display i love it to bits you guys can see the puzzle bag and the dark butter yellow which i actually really like and i'm super interested in the dark butter yellow in the hammock and then i believe this is the vintage khaki but they actually have the vintage khaki in the compact hammock now so that's actually super super good to know I love the colored in the grain calfskin. You guys know if you've seen my previous Loewe vlogs that before I got my mini puzzle bag, I was actually thinking of getting the mini puzzle in the grain instead of the tricolor. But for me, it kind of looked like a basketball and I couldn't unsee that. But the grain calfskin with the colors, I actually really, really do like, especially in the yellow and the purple. I think it looks awesome phenomenal okay so the next bags that i'm going to talk about is from fendi so here are the bags so this blue color ah, when i got the email that you know when you sign up for email notifications on luxury websites so i will show you like the new pieces when i first saw this blue oh my word i fell in love with it so much let me show you oh my gosh i just i love it I love it so much. It reminds me of chambray, which is essentially kind of like a look-alike denim color. I just love the shade of blue so much. I feel like it looks so good. Like it looks so good. Oh, like especially do you see like these pants? Again, like these pants with this, this. Okay, guys, so this was the number one thing. Like I love it. The takeaway after, 
I love a couple other pieces, but the takeaway, my favorite pieces from everything I'm going to tell you guys today is the top stitch bags from Fendi. So the color alone, I adore, okay? This top stitch Fendi baguette bag is everything to me. They do have this bag available in pink as well. It's so funny because when this first got released online as well, the pink one has been since available. So you know that the blue one is so popular, but I just love how thick like i love how thick the stitching looks as well the top stitch looks really nice i honestly never thought i would get another regular size like medium baguette bag but after i saw this i if i had the money to spare i would totally like 100 percent, no doubt in my mind i would get this i really really like it i also like that it's different because my baguette bag is napa and you can see right here that there's grained which i really really like i just i feel like this is such a great neutral because of the shade of blue that they used and see it even has the top stitching on this bit right here i love everything about it i also love that it oh my gosh i really truly love everything about it the the grain texture of it i feel like really highlights the bag a lot i love that it's also on the strap and then i know that this blue color was really popular because a lot of the japanese influencers that i follow they obviously went to the release of this before it was released online to the public and so many of them had this blue bag especially in let's look for it like look at this like look how good this looks especially with the pink and the silver i think that looks phenomenal let me just go to this really quick so when the tri-colored or not when the multi-colored baguette bag first came out so, so the rainbow one like i love that bag so much i really was tempted on getting the nano baguette version of this and that one is very warm so what i love about this multi-color canvas and i love that they came out with this is that it's cool tones like yes you have that like one little warm orange but it's pretty cool toned i i love this bag so much i've actually always wanted to add a montresor but i don't know when i touched the normal brown um, ff print montresor bucket bag the leather felt really rubbery to me and i didn't like this so this is kind of like the best of both worlds i get the multicolor baguette bag that i wanted but at the same time i get the montresor so i really 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 like this a lot a lot a lot i feel like my only fear with this is if i had this bag like to get it stained just with canvas in general it's just very scary because you can't really like wipe it off but obviously so it has canvas the embroidery with the ff like do you see these like little ff logo prints i love the detail of the knots with the handle is super cute and it's just your typical bucket bag and then it's lined with calfskin i'm pretty sure let's see yeah calf leather so that's awesome and then they actually did have nylon bags i don't know if this is new it's just i never knew that they had this so when i was looking at that montresor it was on the recommended and i saw this and i just thought it was so fun and so special again nylon how much is this 17.50 i mean i would say this is overpriced mm -hmm. But then again, I would say reasonable because Prada bags are now like 1700 as well And then this one comes with like a nano baguette bag on the front I think this is really really cute I know Prada has their own bucket bag that I actually really like and it's kind of the same concept as this where it has the pocket on the front Which I actually like as well. This is really cute. Like really 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 cute I just oh, it's so cute. I can't I can't okay So this is new and i'm just gonna say this right now. I'm not a fan personally I think the chain looks like a bracelet. So if they did this like costume jewelry, I would get it But for me, it's just not myself. I feel like this is too like robotic future to me It it just wouldn't go with my wardrobe at all But let me show you the so they have this oh in the ostrich leather so so pretty Oh, but it's this one. It's this one guys the top stitch the peekaboo i see you i just oh i love everything about this i really think it's the color with the top stitching it just goes well like it goes so well together like so so well obviously it can be top handle it has the removable shoulder strap it's just like your normal peekaboo but yes i really really like this so if anyone is buying any of the this like blue top stitch bag please 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 tell me like look how cool she looks i just can't get over it i really can't and i feel like this would match with so much so so much i definitely see myself getting a peekaboo way before i get like a birkin or anything like that not that i need another top handle bag but you know you gotta have a peekaboo it's so classic fendi what do you guys think should i get like in the future because obviously this price tag like really hurts my soul montresor first or the peekaboo i feel like most of you guys will say the peekaboo 
Okay, so that's it for Fendi. Next, Bottega Veneta. Okay, guys, I am like so excited to show you this. Look, so it's actually part of the men's summer collection that I saw. Let me show you. I thought this was interesting. What do you guys think about this? Um, hmm. Should we just click it really quick? I saw this the other day and I don't know. I mean, I think it's nifty that it's kind of like a Prada re-edition where it has like the little pouch. So I feel like on a guy see i don't know i feel like because of the shape it's really cubular that it doesn't look like it flows with the bag for me like it looks very out of place and then these shoes i actually really like these shoes i saw a picture of who sean mendes recently and i don't know if he was wearing bottega veneta shoes i'm not like that heavy into recognizing shoes i'm gonna see if i can find the picture right over here but it looked like he was wearing these shoes and I wouldn't be surprised if Shawn Mendes was a brand ambassador for Bottega Veneta. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. I could see him dressing like this. Anyways, so this, the Connect. So it's essentially a Louis Vuitton Papillon bag. How cool is that? And I love that they actually use the big squares instead of their normal, like, small interest weaving. I thought that was really cool. But look, it is literally a Papillon bag. I think this is a great unisex bag, like, great, great unisex bag. And then they do have this in the bigger size. Um, I think they just need to add more colors. I really like it. Like, look. Look at this. It's literally a Bottega Veneta version of the Louis Vuitton Papillon bag. So, I love it. And I love that the straps are adjustable as well. Let's see if the black one has gold hardware. Or if it's all silver. Okay, yeah, it's all silver. Okay. But let me show you a couple other Bottega Veneta bags that I really like. This is really interesting. This reminds me of the Dior, like the old, old original Dior saddlebag. Does it not? Does it not? I actually really like these slippers too. So cute. Okay. Let's go back to it. You know what was so crazy? If you guys haven't seen my Louis Vuitton vintage video, I'll link it somewhere here and in the description box. But when I was on the Bottega Veneta website, I realized they had so many bags that I featured that I wanted vintage from Louis Vuitton, like shape-wise. So this literally looks like the louis vuitton danube pouch but obviously not louis vuitton monogram i think this is actually really really cute like look how cute i would totally recommend getting this for like a husband or a boyfriend for like travel so they can put their wallet lip balm cash i don't know like people that vape i guess you can put your vapes in here as well cigarettes Ooh, perfect there not that i smoke but i'm just saying it's an option but it, this is a great unisex bag but i feel like this would be such a cute gift for your boyfriend yeah especially in this traveling color i really really like or the green the parakeet green guys oh it's so cute yeah when i go to bottega i really want to try on these bags like the men's collection is like good okay so back to what i said is that yellow and lilac are like the colors this year especially that pastel yellow they even have it in the cassettes so this is the cassette belt bag and it is the color ice cream love it it's like basically vanilla vanilla ice cream i really 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 like this so i believe this is made with calfskin so the calfskin cassettes in general i'm not a bottega veneta expert but it has this kind of like patchwork right here whereas if you get a lambskin cassette it's just all leather if that makes sense if you see the, if you see them side by side you'd know the difference hold on should i get mine let me get mine and show you okay so really quick do you guys see how this is just like smooth and circle whereas on this picture right here you guys see the edges so that's basically the difference and also the feel this feels like leather whereas the calfskin one is kind of more glossy and shiny but um there's nothing wrong with that i actually so initially i wasn't a fan of this i don't know there was something about it that kind of made it look cheapy but i feel like i wouldn't have to baby this one as much as compared to the lambskin one and if it wasn't 1800 dollars, i honestly would buy the ice cream color you guys know my love for yellow uh and i do love green this pistachio is i like this but i did definitely definitely love the ice cream one more and i actually really want a cassette belt bag this is essentially the luxury version of the lululemon belt bag so if any of you guys want to put this on your birthday list i 10 out of 10 recommend yeah i really like this i really like this i love how adjustable it is i love that this because you guys see all the holes this could actually be a belt bag or wearing it like this tell me this doesn't look like the lululemon belt bag you want to see it in black so it looks like the lululemon belt bag there you go there you go. So this style isn't new. I was really just showing you the color because it's really all about pastel yellow this year. And I feel like this is this is my move. I need to get a pastel yellow bag. Everyone's talking about these drop earrings. I mean, it's really cool. Not $850 cool, but it's cool. Um, where is it? Where is it? 
Oh, this color too, really quick. This color, everywhere too. This is literally the exact shade of the Celine Jade color. So it's basically pastel yellow and the Celine Jade. Like that, like super, super light pastel mint color is everywhere. Like, look. So I think those are the two colors of the year. Is that a sign that uh, we should get it? I know, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on her name, but Mello, she's this Asian, um, Oh my gosh, English luxury YouTuber. And she has this Chanel bag. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm gonna try to like show a clip of her showing it. It's stunning. It's literally the shade of this bag. So she's ahead of the game. She's ahead of the game. But do you guys think this is overpriced? I think this is overpriced. I would, I saw, you guys know that I really, really wanna get a vanity case and unfortunately a luxury one at that, so like either Goyard or Louis Vuitton and it would actually be really cool if I could get a Bottega Veneta one but not at that price point oh, oh, oh no sir, oh no sir, Um, oh, it's so right here so they have this color, I feel like this highlight, so this theirs is called the color Glacier and I feel like this highlights this color so nicely, I love it I really, really like this color, like look, it's like an icy pastel green color Oh, I love it. And then you guys know that I tried on the small padded cassette and they have it in the glacier color as well. If I did get the small padded cassette, I wouldn't get it in this color purely because I would want this color in something else. But you guys know I love the padded cassette, but this this color is really nice. Okay, I definitely need to buy something pastel yellow or pastel green this year. Like, I have to. It's just... I have to, like, look. Did you guys notice how with Bottega Veneta, they changed their mini bag? So this used to be called the mini Arco bag, and now anything that's mini is called candy, just like the mini cassette is now called the candy cassette. So they have this one in the ice cream color as well. Ugh, look at the size of this. It's so cute. It's so similar in size, at least with the visuals, to the Amazona 16. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to tell you guys on Bottega Veneta... Wait, hold on. Why does this look so small? Oh my gosh, they have a mini, they have a candy Jody. I actually didn't know this. This is brand new information to me. What? This is so little. Oh my God, it's so little. Did you guys know this? I didn't know this. Why did I think, what size is the regular one? The small one that everybody has. Maybe I'm just not in the know. I didn't know that there was a candy. Like look how small this is. Oh my word, it's so little. I can't get over how little it is. Anyways, and then lastly guys, uh, I didn't know that the cassette had a size bigger. They have a maxi cassette now. That was actually news to me. See this, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like how like crumply it is. Yeah, it just looks like it's been on display too long and people kind of like smooshed it. Is that how all of them look? Huh, maybe it's just the lighting interesting interesting yeah do you see like the crinkled so this is when you can tell the difference between lambskin or calfskin this one is calfskin but yes okay so i thought i would run through the part two uh, kusama collection from louis vuitton so you guys know angel on instagram she always posts like the most up-to-date content this is her instagram just a couple things that i thought we could discuss uh so this oh ho ho i'm gonna zoom through this really quickly because i just I really don't like it. Even this terrifies me. Like, it's not even that it's ugly. It's just, it's, I don't know. I think it's the dots. It's really the dots because I have trypophobia. Yeah, it's just terrifying. Let's get away. This I could actually handle. I think the color scheme, the fact that it's dark, I could see somebody that likes luxury, but they're also really punk rock, like Avril Lavigne 2005 era. I could see them rocking this. But this, oh, it's the face for me. It's really, really scary. The pumpkins, you guys know that I already initially didn't really like the pumpkins, but this I could tolerate it more. The colors, I'm sure close up the dots would be more intense for me, but it's really the Wilson face and the fish this is terrifying truly terrifying yeah guys Ooh, and i know that they have this face on the neverfull as well and that's scary see like this i could i think it's cute like i i get the appeal i'm not that big into polka dots but i get it this one regardless of the faces the patchwork again more tolerable because like with denim jackets leather jackets patchwork is a thing my only issue is it's just the face like this looks like a face that you would write you would draw in therapy when you're going through some kind of like ptsd trauma 
and this is the image that you have in your head that's literally what i think about so that's that okay the last bag that i'm going to talk about really quick from a brand that i haven't really mentioned but it is very popular i think it was voted best brand of 2022 i think i think that's what cassie thorpe said i'm not sure so it's miu miu and i've been seeing miu miu a lot more miu miu has been in the game for a very very long time um i think they're way more popular for the ready to wear but the, what they're popular for is their like kind of crisscross leather it's this i'm not even going to try to pronounce this like matte lace matte lace but i am kind of now into it i i was never not into it i just it was very neutral for me so this is very similar to that new prada bag that i was telling you guys about as well but i kind of really like it you know what really like threw me over the edge it's because two japanese influencers that i follow she has like the green version of this but the bigger one and i actually really really liked it on her so first of all this mini hobo i don't know how i feel with the straps on the sides i feel like i'm either this is going to be a crossbody bag or i don't know i feel like it would look weird because the handle is so stiff and then it's crossbody but i like the option of having that functionality which i think is really cool this whole outfit is such a vibe such a vibe and it has that price point because obviously it's all leather so we just have to learn to accept that mini bags are now like 1800 and plus so it's like i can't even complain anymore it is what it is you know but so the bag that okay so this was the bag that was most similar to the one that the influencer that i follow Alyssa ueno oh my gosh guys and it's in sage green my favorite color is sage green slash jade green and this is so cute like this bag is so up my alley so so up my alley i can't even tell you like look oh my gosh look how cute it is ah, i really really like it let's see what other colors they have oh so they only have four bags nice i really really like this this is a bag that she got i don't know if she bought it if she got gifted it but i don't care i really really like this but i know that Miu Miu's like super hot bags right now is obviously the shoulder bag so basically the one that we just saw except without see they have like i think Miu Miu from what i learned like a decade ago was that Miu Miu is like the sister brand of prada so obviously there's a lot of prada influence on this like this bag actually really really like this is really cute this little tote bag damn that's really expensive okay so this one i feel like this bag is the most Miu Miu bag that i see at least out and about i i haven't tried this on if i go to nordstrom i'm pretty sure they sell Miu Miu at nordstrom i'm definitely gonna try this on yeah, there's something about it that i like it's kind of giving me like luxury contemporary vibes if that makes sense we would even have this in the pink color minus without the strap oh i really like the shade of pink oh oh i do like this this is actually really really cute and because it's leather you don't have to worry about it with the prada alabaster pink nylon it's like a bright pastel pink but i would be so nervous about getting stains on it but i really like this but this bag reminds me of the jw pay bag that i feel like so many people have right now like so many people have i see that bag so often i feel like this bag they probably have like a copycat version uh forever 21 i could totally see that happening because the jw pay bags are $80? I don't know. Okay, $80. I was wrong. Yeah, it's the Gabby, this one. So this is the bag that I've been seeing so much. Have any of you guys bought it? Look, they're even having a 10% off sidewide. I think this is really cute. I feel like this would be a really cute kind of, what's the word, like going out bag that you really don't have to worry about as much. And I feel like since they have so many colors, you can match it with a lot of things. They even have it in pastel yellow. So if you don't want to fully commit to a prada shoulder bag this would be a good option if i were to get one though i would definitely get the mean me one yes. alrighty guys so we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching isn't it crazy though how the colors are so overlapping like a lot of brands get inspo from each other but the fact that that mint green so like the bottega veneta glacier color slash celine jade green slash uh Lueve I think oh my gosh the light seldon color those are all like a super super soft pastel mint color and then on top of that the pastel yellow so if any of you guys are getting any of the greens or the pastel yellows but that specific like light mint shade please 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 let me know i would love to rejoice and be excited with you because i definitely want to add something would you guys lean more towards the mint green or the yellow i actually feel like i could style the yellow like pastel yellow more but I just love green, so very difficult decision. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.